Ian Anthony, and it's day two of Apocalypse Watch here on DNews, where we're counting down to Friday's inevitable and completely scientifically sound extinction event. It's not happening, guys. Today, we're talking about the whole reason everyone's even worked up about Friday to begin with, the Mayan calendar, which supposedly ends on December 21st of this year. And since Mayans kept all their records by carving them into stone, it looks pretty serious and mystical, and so we should all probably start rioting in the streets. The Mayans actually had a few different calendars, all for different purposes, and they're all based on some crazy math. The first one was the Zolkin calendar, and you'll have to excuse my pronunciation on all this stuff, because I am not Mayan. It's the one that they used for social and spiritual events, so if you want to know your horoscope, or if you're like any other red-blooded Mesoamerican planning to play a game of death ball with some buddies, you would go by the Zolkin. The Zolkin is weird to wrap your your head around, basically because the Mayans were obsessed with the numbers 13 and 20. So 13 was the number of levels of heaven, it's also the number of joints where evil spirits can get into your body, and 20 is the number of fingers and toes a person has because not everything is mystical. The Tzolkin is based around a system of 20 images called glyphs and 13 numbers, which are called tones. And the numbers and tones keep cycling. The important thing to take away here is that the Tzolkin is built around 260 day cycles, which is no good for a solar year. The Mayans actually knew that, so for important businessy Mayan stuff like accounting and agriculture, they created a calendar called the Hob. The Hob is 360 days long. Not because the Mayans didn't know it should be 365, they absolutely did, but their mathematicians wanted to stick with that 13 and 20 system that they'd always had. So they came up with kind of a terrible spooky compromise. At the end of the Hob were five days called the Web. Nameless days. The Mayans decided that during nameless days, the gods left them unprotected from evil spirits. So they totally created these five days themselves and then became instantly terrified of them. And these are the dudes that were thinking predicted doomsday. Now, bear with me. If you start the 260-day Zolkin and the 360-day Hob going at the same time, it's going to be 52 years until they line up again. And that 52 year cycle is called the calendar round. And you better believe there's a crazy stone representation of that. Now the calendar round was the longest calendar system in Mesoamerica. We'll never know for sure whether the Aztecs were totally jealous of that, but they were probably totally jealous of that. Anyway, 52 years is good, but it's not long enough to record historical events for future generations. So the Mayans created something even longer, the long count calendar. In the long count, a day is a kin. 20 days, that month of pictures from the Zolkin, is a Uinal. One year on the Hob is a Toon. 20 years, because they love 20, remember, is a Katoon. 20 Katoons is a Baktoon. Now guess when the current Baktoon ends? December 21st, 2012. This Friday. How many Baktoons into the Mayan calendar will that be? 13. And that's what the Mayans call a great cycle. It's a period of 5,125 years. See where I'm going with this? The Mayan calendars don't end, they reset. We're about to begin a whole new great cycle, and it's actually a period of celebration, rebirth, and good luck, not destruction. And even if they did think it was the end of the world, they also played death ball and thought that there were five days every year that evil spirits were gonna get them. So, I think we're gonna be okay, guys. But if you're still not convinced, come back tomorrow, because we're gonna take a look at how to leave time capsules for future civilizations, and some shelters that are supposedly apocalypse-proof. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the Apocalypse Watch here on DNews.